Hi all, welcome to the session of machine learning with Python. In this session, we are going to find the sum, the count, the maximum, minimum, and the average values from the pandas column. Along with that, we are going to find uh, find the unique values and its count. As we uh, know that we have used a, a technique data set in the previous uh, videos, we are going to use the same. So let's start. We'll import the pandas library. Import and then we'll keep the name of the data set as data set. And it is the train.csv, the name of the data set. Now, first of all, we'll run it and see whether it is running fine. Okay, so we can open the data set and see. This is fine. We can also just use the command which I have taught in the last video. Info, info the information. So, first of all, the sum, count, max, main, average will be applied to a numeric column. So, the column which has the numerical values, float or the integers. So, we will use the age column and now we will find get the maximum value of the column age so it will be print data set dot maximum maximum values of column age is data set then and braces we have the age column dot max which is the function of pandas similarly we can use this and get the minimum get the and we can replace it and here maximum will be replaced by minimum so these two will give us but there is a okay this uh, quote was missing and here also quote was missing now we need to find the sum of the rows in the column H. So the data set and followed by that specific column which is a numerical column and if you give dot sum it will give us the sum of the entire rows of that particular column now we'll execute it okay so we'll execute it we execute this we'll get so if you see execute it so we'll see the maximum age of a person present on the Titanic ship was 80. And if you see the minimum age, it's a newborn baby. If you get the sum of all the ages, which is not required, but still just for the learning purpose, it might be helpful in some of the analysis that we will do. Now, if now we need to find the count
get the count of the number of rows uh, in column H. Count of the number of values in the column H. So this is now you need to get the same data set. Then we are applying it on the H column dot count function. Okay. So if we execute this, so we can see. First of all, if you see the total uh, total number of rows in the train data set is 891. And if we see here, the count of values in the column H. So it means that out of 891, only 700 cells it has value. The rest are empty or it contains NA. That I will teach you in the later class. Now, and the last... Uh, and then we need to find out the average get the average or mean of the column age means the average age of a person in the ship so it will be like the average age is Data set age dot mean control. So the average in age in the ship is 29 years, 6 months, something like that. So we are, so in this uh, like task, we have found out the max, how to get the maximum values, how to get the minimum values, then how to get the sum how to use the sum function how to use the count function and again the most important thing is the how to use the mean the mean uh, when we will have the data set like the typing data set where we'll have a column which contains the null values in pandas in machine learning and in python the empty cell will have something like called n a n not a number So we will be dealing with this in the later classes. Now we need, we will find as I have shown above. So this portion is, is completed. Now we'll find out this portion. How to find the unique value, how to find the unique values and its count. So considering we have several columns in this pandas data set dot if we give info, we have a uh, numeric column like P class, for example, uh, a sex, age, these are the uh, column which contain uh, out which contains the numeric values. Now if we give data set now suppose we are working with the age column so data set age and then so we'll get we'll get to see that the total number of uh, count is is 74 714 which is not null again if we work with the another column which is sex suppose so the sex column is it contain exactly it does not contain any empty rows empty columns now we will see the unique values suppose we see
So we can see the unique values in the column such as male and female. Now, if we want to see the count of again male and female, then what we'll do? Dot. We'll use count value. Okay, this is not count value, it is value. Same error. So we can see the unique features like male and female, the count for each we can see here for male it is 577 males were present and female is 314 please note this is from the train data set again we will have the test data set also so this is based on just on the data which we have this is not the entire people present in the shift which is much more than this this is just for the testing purpose or just for reference purpose so that's it in this session we have completed again uh, the we have completed the uh, unique values and how to get its count. So in the next session, we will uh, be dealing with uh, again the how to deal with the missing values and uh, how to deal with uh, other features also that I'll be uh, bringing up very shortly. Thanks a lot for this and 